it has been over a month since Apple launched their latest operating systems and we got some pretty cool features like the cool new lock screen customization, stage manager, continuity camera. But a lot of these features did exist before, but through third party apps. So it got me wondering, what are some third party apps that Apple has killed? Let's have a look. So first up, we have photo vault apps. So with iOS 16, you can hide your hidden album, obviously, and you can also secure it with Face ID. Now we got the hidden albums a few years back, and only with iOS 15, we could hide the hidden albums through settings. But that still wasn't enough for a lot of people. So people would often go to these third-party apps that would either disguise themselves as calculators or these vaults, and they would hide their photos in these apps. Now, this was a huge concern to the privacy because you're exposing your sensitive data to these third-party apps that you have no idea about. But now that problem is no more because Apple has now integrated Face ID in the Photos app itself. Now, why would you go to these third-party apps and keep your data at risk? Well, you can just, you know, go in the Photos app. So there goes the business of all these third-party photo vault apps. Next up, we have background remover apps. So there are these applications and websites that are pretty great at removing the subject and object from the image. Like, you know, you can remove the background from these images, but it's still always a hassle to export, import, wait for the processing and all of that stuff. Now with iOS 16, with a single tap, you can lift the subject from the background and you can copy it and paste it anywhere on the phone. And that's honestly next level convenience. So now you wouldn't go to these third party apps and websites with the option just being right there. So that's one more fish out of the water. Now the next one is sort of a mixture of two kinds of applications, but they still fall under the same category. And that's duplicate photos and contact removers. So since ages now, there have been these applications that would scan through your entire gallery and contacts and delete or merge your duplicate photos and contacts. Again, the same concern of privacy arises. Now with iOS 16, there is an inbuilt option to either merge or delete these contacts and photos. So this eliminates the risk to download another app, allow access, scan through the entire gallery or contacts and delete or merge them. Now all of that happens in the app itself just with a single tap. So why would you go to these third party apps now? Now this year's biggest feature in the macOS was continuity camera. And this not only killed a lot of third party applications, but to some extent it also killed some products. So with continuity camera, you can obviously use your iPhone as a webcam. And allowing this, you also get some cool new features like uh, portrait video and center stage in your Mac. But the biggest USP of this is the desk view feature. Now the desk view feature uses the wide angle lens in the iPhone's camera to show you objects that are placed right in front of the laptop. The biggest advantage to using your iPhone as a webcam is the seamless connectivity it offers. You don't need to download any other application. You don't need to pair it wirelessly via Bluetooth or something. It's very, very seamless. All you have to do is take your iPhone's camera close to the Mac's camera and it instantly switches. And that's just magic. Now, there were certain third party apps that did this, but the sheer lengthiness of the process was very discouraging. And now this entire process has thus been simplified. Additionally, the iPhones have arguably the best camera system in any other smartphone. So naturally, any other webcam cannot compete with the iPhone's camera. So why would you go out and buy another webcam when the best webcam is already in your pocket? The entire existence of these third party apps is pretty much all the time hanging by a thread, flourishing only till these companies finally include these features in the OS itself. Remember the times there were applications to turn on flashlight? Now it's literally on your lock screen. But at the same time, the existence of these applications is of utmost importance because these applications motivate and encourage manufacturers and developers to include these features in the OS itself. So it's interesting to see how with every passing year, these apps slowly, slowly die because the giants are just doing it better. That's it for this one. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, do drop a comment down below and press the like button and subscribe to our channel. This is Rhythm. I'll see you in the next one.